Hello survivors, welcome back to the long dark. This is still, I'm still on winter mute, episode one. But here's the thing, last time, I feel like uh, I didn't uh, quite um, explained anything about the episodes or what this game is really about so I was not really ready to face the long dark so the long dark has uh, this story mode called it's episodic this is the first episode from this winter mute I mean, it's called Winter Milk, but yeah. Episode 1 is called Do Not Go Gentle, which I'm playing right now. Episode 2 is Luminance Fugue. Episode 3, Crossroads Elegy. Ep episode 4 is called Fury, then Silence, and that's the last one currently released. Episode 5 is still locked, and content to be unlocked in the future means Hinterland is currently working on it. Apart from that, there's the survival mode which features. Uh, the uh, Tales from the Far Territory, which is uh, again like episodic. Part one is for Satan Airfield. Um, part two is Signal Void. Part three is Frontier uh, Comforts. Part four, a uh, buried buried echoes, and. Part five is Last Horizon, like Last Horizon, like recent recently released. Part six is uh, to be released. So that's what I wanted to say, and I think let's just dive into it and uh, show you a few things. I am now a bit addicted to this game. So currently I am 71% um, uh, ready with the, this uh, part one of winter, uh, winter mute. Do not go gentle. I played uh, offline, not offline, off camera. And uh, yeah, that first video is, is now like when I watch it, it's a bit cringy. I was like, not really able to uh, find uh, really obvious things and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, currently, I have to. I have to retrieve the, the contents of the safety deposit box from the bank, which I'm, I'm planning to do. Apart from that, let's see how I'm doing. So these are my meters. This is my temperature meter. This is uh, basically uh, if I'm tired uh, or fatigued. This thing with the eye, this is how much uh, I'm thirsty, and uh, this is how much I'm hungry. Basically, warm, uh, exhaustion, like sleeping, uh, thirst, you need, meaning you need, you need to drink, drink more water, and uh, other things, whatever you find in the world, and this is your food meter meaning you have to be well fed like I am right now. Apart from that, I think I am doing pretty good. 
Okay. I mean, uh, I have like uh, all the necessary survival uh, tools which I've gathered. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all about survival. Alright, this is a car battery. I mean, I still need to put some food in uh, uh, Grey Mother's fridge. It's like there is a uh, there is a lot of food in there. Still, you have to put some uh, extra supplies here. Add extra food to Grey Mother's fridge and add extra fuel to green models that's almost completed i uh apart from that i'm barely barely scratching the surface in this game i mean this i mean each episode in uh, story mode is from five to six hours long i mean i'm taking my time uh, i'm taking my time which means i'm Spending more time in game, like looking around, just uh, messing with things, menus, inventory, backpack, uh, like scavenging uh, for supplies, uh, crafting, and uh, harvesting. And running, running away from wolves, which by the way, wolves cannot attack unless I think you are to provoke them. But uh, not a single wolf actually attacked me, and I was really close to many wolves, which were like uh, on top of a deer, like eating it, uh, hunting, and stuff like that. I need to go to the bank. Uh, this, um, as I said, I'm like, I feel like I should have played this game before. And I, I mean, I don't have regrets, but I think this is one of the one of the greatest games. One of the greatest survival games ever created by any developer. It's it's unique actually, you're not fighting like zombies or infected or humans, crazy people and stuff like that. You are trying to survive, fight against the elements of nature. And that's what this game is mainly about. Survive the longest, the darkest nights of the long dark it's always winter by the way uh, in um, story mode i'm not sure about the survival web sonic theme like gameplay but so that's uh milton created theme. just drink some tea I need to. I need to retrieve the contents of the safety deposit box from the bank. Meaning something precious was stolen from grandmother. Find it and return it to return it to her. But uh, here's the thing: I was unable to unlock the uh, bank vault. Locked. Can't get in here yet. I don't know why. And, uh... Locked. Mm -hmm. Can't get in here yet. It's pretty really strange because there's no other bank. And, uh... I don't... Wanna 
see how other people, uh, other people's playthroughs. I just want to figure things out by myself because that's that's the fun in in any game, pretty much. But if this safe couldn't open, I don't know. Locked. Can't get in here yet. Let me show. You. Let me show you something. Just, uh, just give me a minute. Mm. So that's your character wheel. This is the most helpful thing. So this is light sources, which is storm. We have your lantern, torch, flare, matches. Then you have food. I don't have any food. Weapons. Uh, this first pistol, which is this one, you can kill bears with it, and moose, and wolves, I think, without, uh, I mean, excluding rabbits, I guess. why would you kill rabbits? Uh, then you have navigation, which is your map, journal, <clears throat> all your notes and stuff like that and uh, camp craft which is bed low bad passing time uh, starting fire snares recycled cans oh, shit. and uh, first aid kits painkillers bandages emergency system some painkillers more painkillers Energy tools, basically medication, and uh, your character. Currently, it's uh, daylight. This is my calories, health, uh, health meter, air temperature, and it feels like one degree Celsius outside. Locked. Can't get in here yet. How am I supposed to do that? See a bank deposit box. Bank deposit box. Bank manager says. Bank manager says. Hmm. Locked. Okay, okay. Can't get in here yet. Ooh, I need some. I think I need to check the houses. Or combination. Which one? Which one is the um? Hmm. Just give me a sec here. Which one is the bank manager's house? Maybe it's this one. Now there is a sprain risk, which means I carry too much. I could eat anything right now. Oh, I'm hungry. I don't have any food. That's great. It's just perfect. Which means I have to go back. And uh, cook something or take some of it from Grey Mother's Bridge. Um, I don't want to run too much because that's, I mean, I can sprain, have, uh, there is a chance to sprain an ankle or something. You are exhausted or encumbered, and 
at a higher risk for sprain when traversing the slope. Rest or drop some of the gear in order to eliminate spring risk. Okay. I will drop some of the wood on the crate box after I ate something. How much should I eat? I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Oh no. Okay. okay, fine. I need to put this wood back. So much. Food uh, wise, I have this tin of sardines, which in the previous video made me sick. Uh, it was not great. So, uh, I can actually try and make those. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, let's uh, load some of the. Uh, Timber, firewood, in this box here. Um, yeah, just do it. Oh, mm -hmm. this, this is one. Need to check those houses. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but uh, when I was playing off, off camera, I went in this direction, and uh, there was a guy there. By the way, the story in this game is done really well. It's, uh, it's on the level of The Walking Dead, like. Telltale games, which I really admire. It's really, it's really uh, well made, very well voice acted. I've been in the post office. I need to find the bank manager. So. Also run. There's a high, high chance of damaging my ankle or whatever. But this has. The atmosphere in this game is like phenomenal. Let's have a 
I really like this uh, water supply. It reminds me of like, uh, the intro to Under the Dome TV series on the Stephen King's book. Chester's Mill. That's Mill. Milton. Similarities end there. We keep looking because it's almost uh, almost done. By the way, a big shout out to Zaknafein. I'm sure anyone or everyone in the, the Long Dark community knows who Zach is. So, amazing, amazing channel, amazing guy. Having a lot of great guides, which I can only learn and correct mistakes. Not um, not really sure. I think I can use this. All right, thank you. Here's the thing: in this game, you have to look in every single corner. Because there are things that you can find, hidden things, resources, matches, food, water. You have to be very observant. You have to save your time. I better take this food. Yeah, I found the things you're doing. This. No food. Food source. That's fine. Okay. 
Mittens. Okay then. Mm, kind of okay. Let's warmth is not very good. Improve is actually increased. Waterproof is not protection is actually uh, okay, but condition I can just do uh, ten minutes I can harvest those for the cloth. Let's do that. Okay, right now. Harvesting the mittens, which I can grab the other things I have. Cure the leather, grayish mushroom, I can make some tea, rose hip, crow feather, that's for making arrows when I get one bow. Eventually. this an emergency beacon fire the front of this first place I'm not checking this trip this pack is getting kind of heavy I hear you man I don't find this manager's bank manager's house or the combination of the key to the bank vault. I'm still going to have some great time exploring. I'm showing you it. You know what? When I concentrate, when I play off camera, I guess. Things happen more easily. Anyways, I have to get used to it. <coughs> oh, also, you, you can check uh, the food of cars or car battery. You can scavenge for metal. There's a thing. In the uh, open, uh, in the glove box, nothing. Every single time here, in the visor, nothing as well. Spits at. That's the Canadian flag, which I really like. All right, that should be has Bingo. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no coffee, that's herbal tea. Herbal tea, which is a package of fragrant tea. The label promises restorative benefits and more peaceful regrets. I'm looking for 
anything that can help me to get into that bank. <clears throat> I better take this food. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let me take a book in those. Easy ish. Be short. Goodness. Well, let's risk it. Fuck it. What have we here? Suing it. <laughs> so wicked. Search. Search. This will come in handy. Is that a sweater? Some warmth and being in it from wool remains warm. This stuff will come in handy. I have way too much stuff. What are you killing? It's insane. Maybe I've missed something, I'm not sure, whatever. Starting to get darker. I've seen some footage from the Aurora. It's beyond anything I've seen. Alright, man. Alright, man. You are just a wolf, you are not a guru. I'm risking a lot here, but I need to... What was the code again? Nineteen thirty oh eight. okay. This is how you lock the safes. You have to rotate this wheel slowly, and these uh, things here they will start ticking. So, uh, if you want to reset, you go from zero, then it works. So, Sorry, I'm gonna have to go back to zero. What? 
I don't need that. Books. Maybe. Windows. Let's hope nobody needs this anymore. Cash. A bundle of cash. Pretty much worthless these days. Use for us. Use for us to do. end up being useful. I could use this. to get into the bank and did you find it here's the safety deposit box you asked for i still don't Shh, please give me the box okay jewelry i don't understand you said this would help me find it well outsider it will I need to find my friend. Do 
You think you'll be okay here by yourself? You've done more for me than you can know, Mackenzie. These pearls were my lilies. I didn't come across anyone in the farmhouse or bank that seemed like a lily. Lily was... It doesn't matter. Did you get confused? In your foggy gray memories? Maybe you thought Lily and my friend were the same? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I thought I was helping you. It's okay. I don't think you're in any danger anymore. You should have enough supplies to last a while now. Now that I have her pearls. Lily's things. What? Sorry, I don't understand. I needed the pearls to remember her, but now you can take her things. Upstairs, in her old room, her climbing gear, her maps. They can help you get out of Milton. The path through the mountains. You mean, there's another way out? Yes. My Lily was a climber. That's what happened. She... Never mind that. Take the rope, the map, follow her path. It'll lead you out of Milton and deeper into the mountains, north, towards Perseverance Mills. Okay. If you're sure. Thank you. Now lead me to my memories, outsider. Go up there and find your friend. And don't stop to think about Milton or Grandmother again. We're of the old world. This new world is for the strong to survive. to understand Lily's story? Man who fell from the sky. I think I know enough about loss to understand why you wanted the pearls. Then take them to Lily. Lily's <clears throat> still here? In Milton? Why didn't you say so? Go find her. Take the pearls and give them to Lily. Retrieve the climbing gear from Lily's trunk. Man, this is a phenomenal writing. My mother has no final requests. I really need that life of my life. Have a nice loss. Looks like I've made it. Continue your search beyond the panel's border. One last thing. Is it Lily's grave now? Maybe it's trunk here, we move here. And I just visit Lily's great one. Back to the church. First of all, I just wanted to say that the uh, overall feeling in this game is like unbearable. I mean, the most unbearable, the most heavy sadness. It's like a really sad game. I think the developers of Internet was aiming for that. They actually just nailed it. The atmosphere is 
just, uh, it's, it's really nostalgic. There's a deep melancholy here in this town overall. I really, 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 really dig that. I really like it. That's that's why this game is becoming one of my favorite games of all time. Along with The Last of Us Part 1 and 2. I mean, part I mean I mean the, the original Last of Us. Yeah. I think I will cover this game for years and years to come. Just coming back to for the atmosphere. I mean of course this story and uh, to survive. To to experience what it means to survive in the Canadian wilderness. With like the highest difficulty is the most challenging, the most rewarding. With the very little, just you know, let me see what the way. Okay, like this. Good. By the way, in this um, cabinet, you can store your stuff, and then uh, they will remain after you exit game and go back to still be here, which is great. But I don't think I'll be leaving anything here. Let me just check upstairs. Just hide it, watch. Design, but, uh, it feels like a lot of gear. There is a map, a map that shows all these kind of leading out the loop. Uh, it's kind of climbing area and the parts of it. Okay. Let's get some sleep. These socks are better. I'll just scavenge those. Take 20 minutes. 
about it. No, nothing. Good job. Yeah. Use this, this pry bar. Drop it. Can you use this switch? I mean harvest. By the way, all of these clothes that I'm wearing will eventually get wet when I'm taking a long journey. I have to start a fire in order to dry out of it. And uh, it's great. It's a fantastic feature. And this game is like uh, the art style, the whole palette. It feels like you are walking inside a, a painting, like a oil painting. By the way, this um, this means that I'm I'm fine. I need to drink some water. Some snow as well. Let's do maybe a root and a half, yes. It's a sick which very mother made previously. It's delicious. What else I can find? It's not close. Medications I need. This thing I can harvest. I need to reduce my weight because I'm gonna struggle a lot. So I need less stuff on me. I'm getting there. Later. I need the 
sleeping bag. I do. Let's go. And I have some chocolate bar, water, and we're good. <clears throat> we are good. Some ice cream. a bit. It's just amazing how much this game evolved during the uh, years. It, uh, I mean, initially it was on Kickstarter 2013. It was a very different game back then. Since you know, footage, gameplay from, gameplay from people. And right now, it's, um, it's looking incredible. Just uh, an incredible experience. Just, uh, Fascinating game. It's actually a more than game, by the way. But yeah. um, <clears throat> I've, seen, I've seen some people playing, and uh, if you are on story mode, sur uh, survival mode, excuse me. You don't have a map. They have, I mean, a charcoal. Oh, I don't think I have it. You can survey and uh, you know, discover parts of the map. That shows you this kind of thing. Will I make it to the church? To the <clears throat> Will I make it to the church? If not, I shall see you in episode three. Pretty much live inside this game. No, it's called snow. I'm just uh, really nostalgic for winter. I cannot exist in summer. Just been. Uh, 
Good time. Good time. Mm-hmm. 